So this is the new voltage regulator circuit. On the top there, that's the turbine voltage coming in. Uh, ammeter on the left, battery voltage on the bottom. And this is the internal current circuit, which wasn't working at the time of the video, but I fixed that guy up. This here is the loading ratio. Um, so this thing operates like a variable transformer. When we change the voltage, that changes its place on the power curve, which we'll show later. Um, here, we're going to bring it up to 150 volts, and you'll see the current drops off to about 1.6 amps. Uh, we bring it back down again. Yeah, so we're 150, 155 volts. Now we're going to bring it back down to 120, 115, and that'll put us around 2.1 amps. So we got 2.1 times 50.6 is about 110 watts when we're running two nozzles, or two valves. That's the solid red line on the top there. That's two valves. The blue is the single single valve. And the lighter lines is what it's capable of. Um, and the, yeah, so about 120 volts with two and 105 is, that's our max power point. Eventually, I'm gonna do some more code and just have it auto auto track and find its place. Um, yeah, so here's the board. Uh, those small guys there I'm pointing at, those are the rectifier diodes, those input capacitors, P-channel MOSFET, and that's driven from a voltage divider and a small end channel. It's not ideal, but it's it's uh, really reliable and it's pretty efficient still. So that's a coil and my current circuit on the top. And these are my designs. So I gave the designs to the college and they hooked me up with some new boards. They're, they're good guys. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's exciting. We built this thing originally with some toroid transformers and it was sitting at 70 volts, which is way below the max power point. Now we're up to 110, we're getting 110 watts out of it, and it's keeping up, more than keeping up to what we need. 